All right, Kevin back with you. And in this session, I want to share one of the biggest yet most unexpected joint venture discoveries I've made over the years while using this JV Jedi process. And I got to tell you, you know, I've always been one of those guys who likes to be the hero to the people that my business serves. And that being the case, you know, years ago, I used to shy away from promoting too many different offers to my audience of subscribers. And, and instead, I try to be the hero by delivering tons of valuable content, you know, kind of like what I've been doing in these sessions with you and stuff. And for years, I did this. I mean, I, I promoted tons of valuable content and just like give, 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 give without ever really promoting hardly any offers that required my audience, my subscribers to invest money. I didn't hardly you know, promote anything like that. And quite honestly, I saw a lot of people, especially in the internet marketing and how to make money spaces, where I've been on their list and they're continually promoting stuff while hardly ever offering anything of value. And I guess, if anything, I erred to the other side of this while trying to offer a ton of value while hardly ever promoting anything. And in August of 2012, I discovered what a huge, huge mistake I had been making. And uh, I'll tell you kind of the story of it really quick. Uh, I've been in Joe Polish's 25K Mastermind Group for several years, and I'd been in it for several years at this point. And every year he hosts this big annual event. And in August of 2012, he held this big annual event in New York, and it was a two day event. And at this point, his group had probably got to be about 100 people in that group uh, who is each is an, each of them is investing $25,000 a year to be in that group. And what he did was he did something a little bit different. What he did was he had a lot of the members share what's called a 10-minute talk. And what it was, what the purpose of that was, was to distill down the best thing that you're doing or using in your business and share it with the rest of the group in just 10 minutes with the goal being that if they were to use that, if they were to use that process, that strategy, or what have you in their own business, that it would be worth $250,000 to them over the course of the next year. And needless to say, after two days of this and about from hearing from about 40 different people in the group, uh, it, it dawned on me, not like I didn't know it already, but this really brought it to light for me that I was surrounded by incredible people with incredible knowledge. And, and the big thing that really got driven home for me is like, you know what, Kev, you know all of these awesome people, not only in Joe's group that were right there with me in that weekend at that New York event, but also I knew a lot of people outside of that group. And so here I had this group over here, and then I had my audience of subscribers and, and, and clients that I had built for my business, but yet I was not introducing them to each other. All because I was kind of like, well, you know, I don't want to promote too much stuff or I don't want to be, you know, uh, be, be coined as the guy who's always trying to sell stuff. And, and I've always believed in what I had to offer. But the challenge was, is now I realize that, you know what, a whole lot of other people have some incredible stuff to offer too. And so what I did is I started making those introductions. And I found in the process of doing that, that people are people are people. And so even though my subscribers, my audience was built because they had, you know, they responded to my marketing and my processes because they had an interest in learning marketing, learning business, learning technology, and learning how to leverage their efforts to, to get far better results with their business, you know, how to have their business fit in with the lifestyle they want to live, all that. But I also found that, you know what, because they're people, they're also interested in a whole lot of different different topics. You know, they're interested in health and fitness. They're interested in weight loss. They're interested in, you know, anti-aging. They're interested in self-defense. I mean, they're interested in all kinds of different things. And what I did is I took the position of being the connector for them. I took the position of being the connector for my audience and subscribers. And, and I didn't do this because I felt like I could make a buck doing that. I mean, that's what a whole lot of people do. And like, you know, this is not here. I'm not here to pass judgment on anybody. You know, what, what, you know, what other people do with their businesses. 
that's up to them. But see, for me, I needed to feel like I was doing something worthwhile. And so now, by you know becoming this connector and taking that position for my audience, for my subscribers, you know now I've become the hero for them, and and I get to do this in a much bigger way since making this discovery. Because see, when because I started promoting people and products and services with the intention of truly being of service to my audience, they recognize that. And as a result, they respond in kind. And at this point, I've introduced my subscribers to lots of different things, lots of different products, services, you know, resources that a lot of people might consider off topic. Okay. And, 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 and you know what? It is off topic to my core subject, but because I have such a relationship with my audience, with my subscribers, they recognize that I have their best interest in mind. They recognize that my, my allegiance is to them. Because quite honestly, you know, that's, I mean, if it weren't for my audience, if it weren't for my subscribers, I would not have the business that I have. And so I never, ever want to jeopardize that relationship that I have with them. My allegiance is to them. Okay, but by being able to take this position of a connector, you know, using this this JV Jedi process, I've now been able to, you know, introduce all kinds of different things to them, knowing and them knowing that I've got their back, that I would never, ever recommend something unless I felt it was truly worthwhile and that I felt that they would truly benefit from. And as with everything in the JV Jedi process, you know, the same rule of thumb applies. I mean, this is all about the relationship. This is all about creating long-lasting, long-term relationships, not only with people that you're going to joint venture and partner with, but with the audience that you serve. And see, everything I do is geared to further the relationship that I have with my audience and build on the hero status that I've already got with them. And because I understand this, I never promote anything with the sole intention of making a buck. Instead, I promote with the sole intention of being a hero to my audience. And because I get that right, the end result is, is that I get compensated extremely well for doing so. And, you know, this has been one of the biggest discoveries I've made while using the JV Jedi process over the years, and it's also provided me with a very large additional income stream that I just wasn't taking advantage of before. And so, you know, I trust that you found this valuable. And that being the case, you know, I, I want to continue this dialogue with you because I want to take things to the next level so I can show you in detail how this process works. Because since 2007, I've done hundreds and hundreds of joint venture projects, both in promoting my things to other people's audiences and also in promoting other people and other resources to my own audience and stuff. And I've documented this incredibly successful JV Jedi process for you. And if you believe it's something that you would get value from, I would love to share it with you on my free JV Jedi webinar. And you can click the links right below on this webpage, as I've been having on all the web pages in these sessions, and you can get instant access to that webinar. And I got to tell you, I, I am so excited to share this process with you. And, I'm, and there's a couple reasons, and I've touched on them before, and I'm going to touch on them again. You know, uh, so many of my partners over the years have told me that this process has the power to completely transform the way that joint ventures are done. And I firmly believe that myself. I mean, it's so exciting for me to think about the ripple effect that's going to come from this and how many millions of dollars in value will be created as a result. The second reason I'm so excited to share this with you is, and, and this is specifically for those of you who are already running successful businesses, but maybe you just haven't capitalized on joint ventures yet, or you haven't had the kind of success that you'd really like to experience with joint ventures. Well, guess what? This simple process is going to open up a whole new world for you, and it's going to take your business to the next level. So like I said, I look forward to sharing the JV Jedi process with you. Just click the link below and get uh, registered for my no-charge JV Jedi webinar, and I will look forward to speaking with you on the other side.